Today's ridiculous theory, the money's not been stolen, it's just been borrowed. <laughs> oh, you precocious little scamp. Alright, hey guys, it's been Ness here playing some uh, Layton's Mystery Journey, Catriel and the Mysterious Co-Conspirators. Ah, so close. Alright, we are headed to the bank vault itself to have an investigate of where this money's gone missing, yo. Uh, yeah. It, it's a bank vault. <laughs> so this is where the incident took place. This, that's the master vault of the Layman's Reserve Bank. One hundred million quid in cash went missing from inside there. Now it was a hundred million quid, but that's, you know, whatever. Um, I say, it's enormous! That's not a vault, that's a room! It was discovered missing earlier this morning. Looks like a classic case of grand larceny. So I've got to catch the crook who did it and get the dough back as quickly as possible, Cat. You say people from Scotland Yard are already investigating the vault inspector. It doesn't look like they are, but you know. Uh, I guess I guess uh, people in the background haven't rendered yet, so. Uh, have you found any evidence that might suggest who did this? Not a flaming sausage. It would have taken a pro to crack this safe, that's for sure. But even pros leave a trail usually, but not this time. Uh, it must have been an inside job. That is clearly what they're going for here. We need to ask some questions. Let's find a person and ask some questions. Just before you do, love. <laughs> yes, Mr. Patronizing Guy. I think I'd like to see this great mind of yours in action first. Let's see if you can solve this brain- Oh wow, this is, uh... <laughs> you waited for us to get down to the bank vault before springing the puzzle. I mean, that was its kind of like a, a bit of an ambush. Uh, it's not that I doubt your abilities. I've heard nothing but good things about you, but I never deal with anyone until I've seen them roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty with my own eyes. Yeah, always roll up your sleeves before your puzzles. You don't, you don't know where they've been. You don't want it touching your clothes. Puzzle number 71. Password A, B, C's. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. We're figuring out a word. Uh, use the points on the memo to figure out uh, what the correct password? To, oh, sorry. Now, what was the password to the safe? It's six letters long and use the letters A, B, and C. Uh, use the points on the memo to figure out the correct password and open the safe. The same letter is repeated twice in a row in two different places. Okay. The same letter never appears three times or more in a row. Okay. The letters A and C appear with the same frequency, which is less than the frequency of the letter B. Okay, so B must be the repeated letter. Uh, after a C, there's always an A. The same letter repeated twice in a row in two different places. So it's gotta be, there's got to be BB and BB somewhere. Uh, a and C, right, C always, C always follows A, A always follows C. But, uh, you can infer that from... Um, these these two. If if, uh, if after a C there's always an A and there's always the same number of A's and C's, then they must be they share a causal relationship. So yeah, it must be C A. So it's B B C A B B. Is that is that does that meet the criteria? Yeah, I think that meets the criteria. This is an interesting one. I think that meets the criteria very nicely. The light shines brightly and the safe opens. Wait. Uh, oh, right. The the puzzle safe. Sorry, not the real safe. The real safe's already been opened. There's a spider in the corner. It's very scary. Well, Mr. Sloans, I hope that's instilled some confidence in you about my abilities. Ellipses. Oh, golly, what's wrong? He's, he's glaring at us. Miss Lighton. I don't understand. She solved the puzzle. Why is he looking so fierce? Cracking stuff, love. That's just what I was expecting. Even better. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's a man of few emotions. Ram is having to look when he's upset. Thank you. So will you tell us the details of the case? Yes, you know, this... <laughs> this hundred million pounds that, you know, you want us to solve. You're putting rather a lot of barriers in our ways to actually, you know, being able to solve it. But that's fine. Alright, the mystery of the missing hundred million. It's up to you to solve it now. I'll do my very best to confine this mystery to history. <laughs> I don't know why I have to say that so stupidly. All right, hint coins. Hint coins. Do anything on these rivets? No. Uh, but probably these lights. 
There's not a lot of features around, but that's why they have to kind of put it on just both the lights. Uh, oh, there's a thing here, though. Just look how thick and heavy this door is! Uh, the vault door can only be unlocked by entering the correct passcode, and the only three people who know that code are Mr. Sloan's himself, uh, Miss Teller, who you met before, and the manager of this branch, Mr. Shinplasters, who's now in hospital. <laughs> is he by any chance broken his leg? <laughs> So in other words, no one can open the vault apart from those three people. When the security guard noticed there was a problem this morning, he found the vault door open already. And the branch manager was out cold on the floor. Okay, I'm guessing, he, is he still out cold in hospital and they've not had a chance to actually question him yet? That's the only explanation we've been able to come up with so far, yeah. So yeah, he's still, he's still unconscious. So as soon as he uh, is back to consciousness, he's probably going to say, Oh, I put it somewhere for storage. <laughs> That's, that's how he talks. Very, very Kermit the Frog. Uh, we had a good look at the vault door, but there are no signs of it being forced or jemmied. Jemmied, you know, jemmied. 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 Oh, jemmied. Uh, a great big door like this one would be impossible to force open, surely. Exactly, so if the shin busters were coerced into opening the vault, or the criminal slipped in after Eid opened it for himself. They're the only two possible explanations as far as I can tell. Yes. Okay. Well, that's fun. <laughs> you must have the correct passcode. Yeah, that's the... I mean, it was clearly opened by putting in the passcode. Uh, which I'm guessing Mr. Shimplaster must have put in. Is there another... Yeah, there's a, there's a hint coin on this axe over here. Why is there an axe? Who knows? Uh, and there's a hose there. Clearly, it must be in the interests of fire safety. Alright, so you never normally get the chance to see inside a bank's vault. Alright, we've got, we got to talk to some people here. we got some people to talk to. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, moe. It's going to be you! Tell us everything you know. Hello, hello, hello. What have we here? Miss, L Miss Layton and her trusty assistant, Ernest Greaves. You are a good memory man. I totally forgot your name, PC Beats, but <laughs> Ernest remembered it, so I don't have to. This is an amazing vault, isn't it? Although I imagine opening and closing it must be hard work. I added the self-same thought when I saw how thick this door was, but it turns out it's motorized. That might be important. All you have to do is enter the code and press the button, and A presto, it opens automatically. So you don't need to big and burly to open the vault. Uh, even you'd be able to open it if you knew the code. Uh, even you'd be able to open it. Wow, dude. Wow. 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 Alright, moving on. <laughs> it's a very impressive looking vault, Mr. Sloan's. Yes, this is the Hermit 5000. Hermetically sealed and totally indestructible. You could fire a shell from, the, from a tank at this thing, and the contents would be unharmed. In fact, it's not really enough to call it a vault. This thing is a fortress. Does it really need to be so tough? Well, it's protecting a lot of money. He made it himself. One of the companies I own did, anyway. Really? You own a company that makes vaults for banks? He owns probably a lot of companies. <laughs> Let me tell you something, lad. It's not just people's money that a bank, bank's vault keeps safe. It's the bank's integrity and its customers' trust. This would be some uh, glorious soundtrack playing in the background. <laughs> that would be a smashing slogan for your new vault. As soon as we completed the manufacture of the Hermit 5000, I had it installed here in the bank. I thought it would give our customers even more peace of mind. Aww. That's what I thought. I can't believe it's been breached so easily. I misjudged that one, and no mistake. There's the latest model this vault. <laughs> I like the uh, I like the the art here. Oh wait, uh, one, two, three. No, it is still six segments. I thought it was seven for a second. Whew. That would be crazy. It's the latest vault model. All right, that's uh, this is a clue. The Banks Hermit 5000 is the latest model of vault and made by another of Sloan's companies. It opens with a code and there's no sign of forced entry. These are things we've learned. Alright, last little thing is going to be you! What have you got to say for yourself? I understand you're the first person on the scene, is that right? You're a security guard here, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. I still can't believe it. How could this have happened? That's what we're trying to find out. Could you tell us what you saw this morning, please? Well, it's my job to keep watching the fire area overnight, see? From when the bank closes in one day to the next morning. I was keeping a look at it all night, but I swear I never spotted anything strange. Then early in the morning, Mr. Shimplaster showed up as usual. He's the must-see. 
And <laughs> yeah, that is a, it's definitely his voice. All right, uh, yeah, so you usually show up. He's usually, he's always very busy, so he usually tries to get him before everyone else. He must have had something to do in the vault because he went straight through the fire and headed downstairs. Not long after that, I heard him cry out, so I ran down here as quick as I could. And when I got here, the vault door was wide open. Yeah, probably because he opened it. I mean, it's not it's not crazy. Did you look inside the vault at that time? Well, I was worried, see. I thought there might be a robber in there or something. But I thought I should be brave. So, I, I thought, as a security guard, I thought I should be brave. <laughs> Literally on the job description. So I just leaped in quickly. And that's when I saw the body flat out on the floor. But that was actually Mr. Shimplasters, wasn't it? It was, yeah. And there was no one else around at all. Not in the vault or out of it. I clearly just has fainting spells. He's a partially uh, fainting goat. What did you do next? I thought no, 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 straight away, of course. And then I called Miss Teller. She's a general manager. I wonder in the US version if that's been localized. But probably not, actually. I don't know. A bit weird. <laughs> You're supposed to call the general manager if there's anything not right, see? When she showed up and saw the vault, she nearly had a heart attack. 100 million quid gone. Yes, this is clearly a misunderstanding kind of case. So it was Miss Teller who real first realised how much was missing. Yeah, it's not my business knowing how much is stashed in the vault, see? Then the boys in blue showed up. The ambulances. It was like carnival around here. And that's all I can tell you. And is it right that Miss Shimplaster still hasn't regained... Yeah, I, I already inferred that much. <laughs> that's what I was told you. He broke both his legs as well. But they said it wasn't left threading There's a good chance he saw the culprit. What a dreadful shame we can't get a statement from him. Yes, that's frustrating. Still, we must push on with the investigation as best we can. Like, this just isn't the kind of game that would introduce a case of grand larceny. It, like, it's always, always, like, it's almost always just a misunderstanding. I'm just trying to think, like, yeah, the last two cases definitely were... Yeah, they, they are pretty much always. Like, it's, yeah. There's definitely... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not expecting it to do a big 180 at this point. After everything we've been told so far, this does seem like rather a strange case, doesn't it? There's no trace for Robbie at all. Not a single scrap of evidence. It's exactly the problem we're facing in our investigation, Sunshine. <laughs> it's Love or Sunshine. Those are our nicknames. <laughs> well, before we give up hope, let's just look around inside the vault. That would be alright, wouldn't it, Mr. Sloan's? Of course! We'll get a guided tour. Here's where we keep all the money. Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> All right, let's go into the vault itself. The inside of the bank's enormous vault. Bank personnel only. Oh, well, we can't go inside then. What can we do? There's very little we can do. Uh, wow, there's, yeah, there's a chalk outline. <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, that's more of a murdery kind of thing. But yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> so this is what the inside of a vault looks like. It's enormous, isn't it? And so shiny. The entire thing's made out of metal. That's for security. The walls are just as thick as the door and made of heavy metal plate. Yeah, so this is establishing the fact that nobody could have tunneled in or uh, anything like that. I'm assuming there's not going to be any secret passages. Uh, how could anyone manage to seal anything from such an impenetrable box? The answers are locked within, Ernest. That's why we need to investigate. There is a huge fan. I need one of them in my room, actually, in my house. <laughs> Look at this. Got bullion bars and so many of them. Yes, that's what I expect to see inside a large bank's, bank's vault, really. Hmm? <laughs> hey, spoiled something, cat. Is it a puzzle? <gasps> oh, it's not a puzzle. This is the one place in the world where there is not a puzzle. Yeah. It must be because of the thick metal walls. They just can't penetrate its uh, its outer shell. How long has this bullion been in the vault, Inspector? Do you know? The toy's been sitting here for about a month now. In other words, the thief or thieves who stole the 100 million pounds would have also seen this gold, wouldn't they? Wait. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I understand. <laughs> so the gold is not part of the 100 million pounds. This is like, why did the thieves not take the gold? Miss Teller informs us every bell accounted for, no gold was taken, just monies. Why, though? Wouldn't the thief be dazzled by the, all these gold bars? I mean, they're kind of heavy. I mean, I guess so is 100 million pounds, but... <laughs> I wouldn't know. Uh, right, that's a bit odd to come to mention it. I'd have had it take away and no mistake. I mean, not that not the thefts ever crossed my mind. I, I speak it hypothetically, speaking hypodermically. 
I think even you would struggle to make off with this much gold with much of this gold inspector. It's extremely heavy. It's not something you want to be trying to move in a hurry. That makes sense. It would have slowed down whoever was uh, slowed whoever it was down too much. So that's why the gold was left untouched and all the readies got taken, do you? Only the readies. <laughs> it's only a theory, but yes, we won't know for sure until we investigate it more thoroughly. And tapped around. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still looking for hint coins, by the way. That was an accidental find. Uh, I wasn't expecting to... Uh, to... Find uh, a, a thing that would give me more information. Yeah, I'm kind of rambling till I get those, till I get this massive cachet of hint coins. Are you aware, like, we're, we're basically, like, we're, we're tapping around inside a bank vault for hint coins. That's not a good image, Catriel. Like... Just go into a bank vault and be like, oh, there's a coin here. I'm just going to take it. <laughs> sure, whatever. I suppose it's a uh, small change, small chump change for these guys. Uh, yeah, we can't force those metal doors. Is there any, like, puzzles around or something? I don't know. Uh, at least the gold wasn't nicked as well. I suppose that's something. Certainly is. Oh, yeah, we've got things to invest, things that we're looking for. Inspector Hastings, were these pallets positioned like this when the vault was discovered open this morning? Apart from taking the unconscious Mr. Shimplast away in ambulance, the scene's exactly as it was found. Apparently the missing money was stacked up on these pallets here. <laughs> the banknotes weren't inside a case or box or anything. Not according to Miss Teller's statement, anyway. All those notes would be rather heavy, wouldn't they? One person alone couldn't have taken them all, surely. Perhaps we're looking for a group of robbers. It's a fair point, Sunshine. Bank ices are often carried by more than one person. <laughs> they've only just d considered this. All right. Well, that's a thing. Oh, I don't. I don't want to relook at something. All right. There's no sign of any of the money. Did it all get sucked into this fan over here? This giant industrial-sized fan. What an incredibly large fan! Yeah, an incredibly large fan. That land is the heart of the Hemet 5000's ventilation system. The air temperature and humidity are kept constant at all times. I, okay, I can't do that voice anymore. <coughs> <coughs> okay. <laughs> My throat might not be quite in it today. But why do you need air conditioning in a vault? People only come in for a very short period of time, surely? If we don't just keep cashing our bank's vaults, we store expensive jewellery and works of art for, us, for our customers as well. Things like that can be ruined by even the slightest variations in temperature or humidity. The Hemet 5000 isn't just strong as an ox, it's gentle as a lamb to the things inside it as well. Oh, I see. Yeah, rather like the air conditioning that's used in museums and art galleries, of course. Okay. Uh, I have to confess, the fan's been on the blink a bit recently, so we've had to turn it off. Hmm. This seems like a clue. Oh, so that doesn't. So yeah, Mr. Shimplus has obviously just uh, walked in and uh, collapsed due to heat exhaustion. That's uh, that's my ridiculous theory. <laughs> oh, so that doesn't affect the security of the vault in any way. So the air inside the vault is managed using that large fan, which is connected to the central ventilation system. It's a clue. See that, guys? We got a clue. It's a big ventilation fan. These clues, so far, honestly, uh, I've kind of, like, just thinking about the, all the clues we got in the other cases, they're so not really connected to the solution, <laughs> in the other cases at least. So I'm not really um, leading anything into the fact that we discovered this. Alright, I suppose i got to talk to people now. Ugh, talk to people? That's crazy. Something here? No. Oh yeah, I've already looked at that. Okay, what about this on the floor? Oh golly, is this the chalk outline of Shimplasters, the branch manager? That's where he was found this morning. It looks like. Oh god. All right. This is gonna take some uh, some deciphering. It looks like E. It is Ed. <laughs> it looks like E. It is Ed when E fell to the floor and knocked himself out. So they took him off in an ambulance, like I said. Oh, that's... <laughs> I add the lads mark out where E was found, just in case it turns out to be important. It rather makes it look like a murder scene, doesn't it? Brr. Luckily, I don't think there's any chance of it. They said his injuries aren't life-threatening. 
But he hasn't regained consciousness yet. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, has he? The bloke's been away with the fairies ever since Eh was discovered. Which is a right pain in terms of my investigation. If we could just ask him what he saw, we'd be in a much better position. I mean, yeah, it's... We're going to have to wait for that. That's going to be like the, the denouement of this particular scene. Of this particular case is going to be... Uh, waiting for him to regain consciousness. Oh, he's just going to uh, regain consciousness at the right time. Just after we finish the investigation, then suddenly it's all going to be solved. <laughs> kind of need to say so. The Hemet 5000 is a proud achievement for our company, I must admit. Or I should say it was. The fact that security has been breached like this is a flaming embarrassment. A Whoa! Language! <gasps> Language! And as for the 100 million, I won't be around the bush, that could very well be the end of the Layman's Reserve Bank. Oh no! So we've got to find whoever did this and bring the scumbag to justice! Ugh. I'll do my very best to solve the case for you, Mr. Sloan. Please rest assured. Yeah. Alright, yeah, you get, just calm down there. Especially with that language. I don't know, I can't, it's not something I can abide. If that's holding the collar, I certainly don't want to see him angry. Alright, that wasn't a thing. Alright, you, you're the one thing I've not looked at in this room, I think. DC Booker, again, I'm so bad with names. <laughs> Can you tell us what you found out, Constable? Of course, I've interviewed a number of key people. A key, a interviewed a number of key workers. Uh, apparently there were works of art and very expensive pieces of jewellery in the house. Figured that out already from looking at the fan. <laughs> Should've just tapped on the fan, dude! Yeah, the thief took the hundred million sterling. Yeah, he should have tapped on literally anything and you'd have found that out. <laughs> Everything else was untouched. Perhaps whoever did it, whoever it was just couldn't be bothered to go through all the drawers. There are a lot of them. Don't assume the criminal was as bone idle as you, cat. Perhaps it's just a matter of not having enough time to take anything other than the banknotes. Pinch trap's got a point there, though. Uh, according to what it says here, works of art and things can be hard to sell on without leaving a trail. Yep, yeah, alright. That was that would be why only the cash was taken. Apart from that, it just says here I need to carry on investigating inside Wait, it just says here that I need to carry on investigating inside the vault. Oh yeah, he makes notes for himself. That's uh, that's, that's his uh character flaw. I think we've seen enough in here for now. <clears throat> I was late, have you worked out who did he already? No, I couldn't say just yet. We need to do a little more investigative work first. I'm afraid I've got a few business matters to see to. Alright, yeah, you you got to get back to your multi, multi, multi million, billion pound empire. You can leave this in our hands. We will save your bank! Uh, which is probably not actually in any jeopardy whatsoever and everyone's overblowing the whole thing, but... <laughs> With his bank 100 million down, I'd say E's got more than a few business matters to attend to. So then, as a result of our investigations, here's my theory on what must have happened. Oh, this should be fun. Let me just get some popcorn. You have a theory, Inspector? <laughs> the weary face. <laughs> Cat's like, you know what? Yeah, I'll listen, but I, you know, I've, I've that, that, that's the face of a detective who's got very, very low expectations in what they're about to hear. <laughs> Why don't I sell surprise for? I'm a detective inspector, cat. What I reckon is. Oh, it's what he reckons. The thief or thieves must have snuck into the bank sometime last night. Then he or she, or they, waited for the branch manager to come in in the morning when he or she, or they, forced him to enter the security code. That. Uh, sorry, but Catriel's weary face is, is, is <laughs> really funny. <laughs> now, he or she, or they. Only nick the cash quotes first thing he or she. Or they. Saw. <laughs> and he or she. Or they. Didn't bother with the gold because it would have slowed him or her. Or them. <laughs> Don't too much during the getaway. In the end, he or she. Or they. <laughs> boshed stream plasters over the head and made a run for it. What do you reckon? I think I've nailed it. Or they. <laughs> he or she or they could have done that. But if is that really what happened, I wonder. You think I'm wide of the mark? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> it's too early in the case for you to be solving it, uh, Chel me, not Chel me. <laughs> That's yes, his name now. Alright, the security guard was in the foyer from the close of business yesterday, right through the until this morning. But he claims there's nothing unusual in all that time, doesn't he? 
affronted. Not to mention the fact that immediately after the incident this morning, he says he didn't see anyone other than Mr. Shinblasters. So apart from being long-winded, your theory also fails to explain how she or he or she, or they, got in and got out of the bank unnoticed. <laughs> I suppose you got a point there. Back to the drawing board then. What a shame. The bank will be in terrible trouble if we don't solve this soon. A theft of 100 million pounds is going to be headline news all over the capital. That's why it's so hush hush. The press can't get hold of it. So you mean this incident hasn't been made public yet? No, Miss Tell has been pretty noisy about making sure we understand that's how it has to stay. It's bad news for the bank, this. Cool. Uh, I've got some tweets I need to delete. <laughs> if it's not dealt with the proper way, it could mean they have to close down even. Like I said before, mum's the word. But as an officer of the law, I'm only at liberty to keep this from public for 24 hours. <laughs> Arbitrary rules. So we've got to find the dough before the end of the day. Just make sure you don't go telling your neighbours about this. Yeah, as I say, I've got some incriminating Twitter posts to delete. <laughs> as if I'd say a wolf to anyone. That reminds me, I think we need to ask Miss Teller a few more questions. She had to dash off before, didn't she? Well, she said she'd be in her office if we needed her. Alright, well, let's head up to Miss Teller's office. He's going to stay here and push on with the investigation of the crime scene. Cool. What, what, what have we discovered? A bank robber. See? I, no, I just I can't believe it. <laughs> I just can't. I can't. The, the game so far has just not been that direction. It's going to be something stupid and unrelated. And the only quote-unquote crime is going to be, oh, the police time has been waited a bit, and everyone's going to be happy, and then we're all going to have some tea. Whoever executed this heist somehow managed to get inside the vault. Open the vault. Inca incapacitate. <laughs> wow, I can't, I can't read today. <clears throat> Let's try that from the top. Whoever executed this heist somehow managed to get into the bank. Open the vault. Incapacitate the manager and make off with 100 million in notes. Okay. Where do we have to go next? Right, that's the way to the uh, office. We're going to do that next time. Uh, yeah, so bit of an investigative episode today. Uh, we've not really uh, done much, but we've certainly found out a heck of a lot. All right, next time that yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs>